Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. Welcome on the Kelta News. My name is David Sariro, and I have the pleasure to have over the phone a fantastic singer musician. His name is Mr. Whit Murray, and he's one of the band leaders of a fantastic band called Maradine. So how are you, Whit? I'm great. How are you, David? <laughs> Very good. Thank you so much for taking some time uh, uh, today. So, look, wait. I listen to your music. I especially listen to that fantastic, fantastic new single called Living for the Weekend, and I simply love it. The music, the production, the songwriting, the energy, everything is just first class. I love how it sounds. I love how it starts. You know, it starts... Very gently, very cool, very quiet, and then like the whole bomb drops and it becomes uh, absolutely amazing. So congratulations for um, this great, great, great music. So uh, tell us for my Thank you so question. much. Um, my pleasure. Uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and how this great band of Muradin, uh started out. I grew up in Raleigh, North Carolina, and I, I was in a band in Athens, Georgia for three years with Thomas Galloway, who's the lead singer of Meridine. And that band dissolved in 2012. I moved up to Boston and attended Berkeley College of Music for three years, and then I moved down to Nashville and reformed the band with Thomas in 2014. And we have been together for over two years and are putting out our second album next month and are touring the country. Wow, that's absolutely wonderful. And yeah, because you're going to do that tour, uh, which already started, by the way, um, and it's the next date, I believe, is September 23rd, which will take you in Tennessee, in North Carolina, in North Carolina, also in Greenville, in Raleigh, in, uh, uh, still in Alabama, in Knoxville, in Tennessee, uh, and also in Charlotte on October 21st. Uh, and also That's in correct. Green, North Carolina on October 22nd. So how would you define your music? Well, we, we like to, uh, first first and foremost, we consider ourselves songwriters. Uh -huh. um, and we, you know, spend a lot of time crafting the song. And then once that's developed, then we like to change everything around and, and improv around it. Yeah. Um, so I, I would describe it as, you know, um, based on rock and roll roots, mm -hmm. with um, heavy jazz influences and and Americana. Wow! Yeah, no, no, it's definitely a, a fantastic mix. And uh, tell us about your musical influences. Like, who are the musicians, the singer that you were listening um, you know, when you started out music? Well, we have a we have a really unique blend of uh, of personnel with this group. Um, mm -hmm. We have Caitlin Connor who plays keyboards and sings as well. And so wow. when she and Thomas and I harmonize, we have a really cool blend um, of vocals. She's able to hit the high high notes that we can't quite reach and it, it really yeah. comes it really comes together very smoothly. Wow. Now it sounds absolutely amazing and and, and, and I believe that you all of you guys have um, similar influences, but also all grew up musically a little bit differently, and all of that melt together, you know, creates this fantastic music and uh, and really unique sound. And uh, it's amazing how uh, pop rock music sounds today. And I think the the, the fact that you guys have a, a keyboardist um, really makes a difference. I always say Bon Jovi without. Uh, keyboards wouldn't be Bon Jovi, you know. <laughs> ah, she, she has that that touch, you know. Um, and I love how you guys are using it. Um, so you guys are, are doing a tour. Um, when are you guys coming to New York or uh, more on the East Coast? Well, we just did a two week run of New York and the East Coast in July. So oh, we'll we probably be back. We're terrible. Just missed you. Uh, we'll probably be back <laughs> in January. Um, and then we try and come come up north and and um, do that run about twice a year. So we should be back hopefully this winter and yeah. then the following summer. Oh, we definitely uh, we definitely be there to, to catch you. So when did you record uh, this song, Living for the Weekend? I believe there is a, a special story around it. Oh, for the, for the song? 
Yeah. Yeah. So we we recorded the album in in March. Or I'm mm-hmm. sorry, in May, and we mm-hmm. started working on the songs last December. Mm-hmm. So we spent about five five months um, getting everything together, and then before we went into the studio, um, our producer Wes Bailey. Mm-hmm. Um, just kept telling us that we needed to keep writing until the very last minute and try and outdo, yeah. try and outdo ourselves. And yeah. he said, you need a really, you know, you need a good title and a good subject matter. And once you yeah. have that, that it kind of, the song will write itself. Yeah. So yeah. I, I would say maybe two or three weeks before we went in, um, he and I met up and I, I finally got the title and felt right. And we, 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 I think got together about three times and finally finished the song and, and showed it to everyone, and it just it came together really quickly, and mm-hmm. that ended up being the first single on the album. Yeah, yeah, and, and the whole album will be uh, released uh, on October 21st, right? That's correct. Well, we can't wait to go to buy it. It will be on iTunes and all the regular platforms. Absolutely. I uh, would definitely go to buy it. Definitely, definitely. Oh, thank so you so much, play. David. Yeah, we, we're going to play that, um, this great single, Living for the Weekend, and uh, uh, many, many times on uh, our uh, radio so that people can know uh, how great you guys are. So, um, my dear Will, is there anything you want to add regarding that, that's the a, release that's of a, your fantastic single and, and the tour and anything else? That'd be a great song to play on the on this Friday. Um <laughs> exactly. <laughs> That's what we're going for. Uh, well, we really appreciate you playing it, and I, I would just say if if you're in the area and you see our tour dates, spread the word and come on out and see us and come say hello. We we love to meet new people and new make new fans, and are really excited about the release of this album. We, we really think it captured what what two years of work have been leading up to. Yeah, well, you can be very proud uh, of yourself, and you can definitely see the date on their website, um, noradineband.com. Let me spell it out for you. It's M-A-R-A-D-E-E-N, band.com. They have also Facebook, Maradine, uh, Twitter, Maradine Band, Instagram, Maradine Band, and Reverb Nation, which is a great, great, great website uh, called Noradine as well. So, uh, ladies and gentlemen, my name is David Seriro, and I had the pleasure today to have on Total News, which you can listen on iTunes Radio, iTunes Podcast, and SoundCloud, and, and many other platforms, uh, the fantastic musician and singer, Mr. Whit Murray, uh from the band Maradine, uh, who has released a great single called Living for the Weekend, and um, the new album will be released on October 21st. Thank you so much, Wit. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me, David. Great talking with you. My pleasure. Talk to you soon. Bye. Bye.